Hello and welcome back. Today we're going through more items that have kindly been sent into my PO box. So this is the address for those that want to write in to me. Uh, please don't feel obliged to send me coins and gifts and items. I'm more than happy just receiving a kind letter. And if you enclose an envelope with your address and postage on it, I'll be sure to reply to you over time as well. If you do go to lengths to write me a letter, feel free to ask for a plug of your YouTube channel, social media, whatever it is, as a way of thanks for uh, going to the extra level of uh, sending something to my PO box. I'm more than happy as a thank you to uh, give you a bit of a plug on it but now let's get into the first bit of mail we're gonna start with this box oh my goodness few items for you Merry Christmas from Miku01 ah so you've been saying in the comments that uh, <laughs> been waiting for your parcel to be opened up and there we go right let's move the box out of the way so we've got a whole bunch of items here. There's a big oversized coin which can go on my shelf oh Las Vegas that's quite cool isn't it not the uh, size of coins <laughs> you'd have in circulation over there. Imagine the size of wallets and pockets you need for that. But uh, I can go on my shelf with the other. I think it's an oversized Japanese coin that I think might just be over my shoulder there, which is very, very cool. Um, one million something Harry Potter note. One million. Uh, this note serves to commemorate Harry Potter and the art of witchcraft and wizardry. We go from uh, Gringotts Bank. Okay, there we go. A fa fantasy bank note. They're kind of cool. Um, oh wow! Look at that. A million pound note. Uh, bank of Eternity. Mm. This note is not legal tender for uses for debts, both public and private. Oh, that's a shame. Imagine that. I could, what the spending spree I could have gone on with a million pound note. Um, there we go. Super stuff. Well, there we go. <laughs> We're not going to see million pound notes, but uh, they're kind of cool. My goodness, look at all these trading cards. Wow. So I know there's a, there's a quite a lot of series of these now with the, the gold bordered ones and the different ones. But my goodness, there's some really cool ones here. Kew Gardens and the EU Presidency. So I've got a stash of these. So uh, thank you very much for... All of those trading cards, well, you scratch them very well. I, I tend to just scratch little bits of them, which I know is bad. Um, so, ooh, socks. Wow, I'm just saying, I'm running out of socks. These look like a Christmassy Star Wars socks. They're very cool. Darth Vader ones. I find your lack of festive spirit disturbing. <laughs> oh, an R2-D2 with little candy canes. Well, they're really cute. Thank you very much for those. And, uh, oh, what, a money bank. Star Wars money. I've got lots of Star Wars money banks. I can't help myself whenever I see them. Um, I use them mainly for keeping the coins ready for the next world record update. Uh, There's not one I've seen before, but it seems to be an idiot-proof packaging. Let's have a look then. Oh, if we can get it out. There we go. So we've got Kylo Ren and some First Order Tie Fighters. Crush the resistance. Wow, very cool. And um, there's also, I think these are from the year 2000 towards my world record attempt, which is still as ever ongoing. So we'll, we'll start using this one then. Uh, this little Star Wars block money bank to keep them safe. Anyone who does send coins in to help me towards my world record, your name does go onto my appreciation board as a thank you for helping me towards the world, re world record. So uh, thank you very much for all those, Miku. Next up, from Simon in Australia. Oh my goodness, look at all these stamps. Yowza. So I imagine this is someone's uh, UK postage that's sent across uh, to Australia for that many stamps. But look at all these. Again, Simon has been very, very helpful for my world record attempt. Um, I will uh, rip these out of the plastic at the end of the video because... Uh, Again, if you thought that box that the uh, money bank was in was idiot proof, my goodness, these take a bit of a, a while to get into. What are these? Disney 100 Wonders. Ah, oh, little Star Wars cards. We've got a BB 8, Ewoks, R2 D2, Ahsoka, uh, Chewbacca. It doesn't look like Chewbacca. It looks a bit uh, pale to be Chewbacca. Maybe Chewbacca in his really old age, potentially. Luke Skywalker. And Kylo Ren's mask. Well, there we go. Even more Star Wars goodies. Thank you very much, Simon, for these. Next up, we got this one. 
a little packet. There's no note inside it. Oh my goodness. I totally forgotten about this. <laughs> YouTube's biggest coin hunter. So this is put together by the coin club. Um, they asked for a, a victory. This is a long, long time ago. It never came to fruition. And then, then it was recently discovered at the back of a warehouse. <laughs> oh, dearie me. Um, and they, they very kindly have uh, sent it across to me. They said, actual Christopher Collects uh, special edition token. Okay. Can we call it coin? It's the closest I'm going to get to being on a coin, isn't it? That's super cool. I really like it. Well... Uh, thank you for the guys at Coin Club for getting this across to me. <laughs> I'm not so sure it's the most flattering um, uh, image of me, but uh, there we go. <laughs> I love it. Next up is this letter. It says, Dear Christopher Collects, it's me, Dylan Collects Coins. You are my favourite YouTuber. Well, thank you very much. Um, I love the Wish videos, well, wish.com. I like the Britannia Coin Company channel too. Uh, do I have a pet? Um, so I have a cat, but uh, it lives at my family home, uh, my cat Wedge. Um, please tell us if slash when there is there are Christopher Clex tokens. There are Christopher Clex tokens that are on my website, but uh, um, I haven't been, I haven't sold them for a long, long time, and I'm not quite sure how the best to uh, get them back up for sale but uh, I will keep you informed if, if that changes it says I have a few photos please tell me a few things about them um, so we've got a two pence here which has got some blobby bits on it now that could be cud uh, where so where, whereby the die has been damaged and it creates that bobbly effect a bit like what on the flag error on the Navy Centenary but it could be if it's a more recent one um, if these are copper plated steel, uh, which the later two pences are, uh, the, the uh, steel underneath can corrode, causing these bubbles. Um, are a couple of options on it. There is also um, the abolition of the slave trade. Now, this is an NIFC version of it. So, normally the abolition of the slave trade has a bobbly textured finish on the inner parts of the coin, but this one has a smooth finish and the initials DG uh, just there. Um, so, that stands for David Gentleman. Who designed the coin so this was just put into the sets and not in circulation it's an nifc not intended for circulation variant of the coin uh, i love the christopher collects t-shirts 2020q from dylan age 10 well thank you very very much for writing in dylan there's a um, oh a coast oh wow look at that a christopher a loads of christopher collects merchandise today christopher collects um coaster that's really cool I wonder how, you, how you do that is that like laser cut or I don't know. Wow. Well, that's super. Thank you very much for that, too. Next up, we've got this parcel. Uh, 3D lights. Seven different colour modes. What? Well, it may not be that. It might be something else inside the box. That is so cool. It's a little Grogu light. Well, there we go. It's a little Grogu night light. That's really, really cool. I don't have a wire long enough to reach and it gets it plug plugged in to show you what it looks like, but... Uh, and that is super cool. I'll have to see if there's a note to see who that's from. It doesn't actually say who it's from, but I think this might be from Simon as well. Well, thank you very much for that, Simon. It's very cool. Next up, then, we've got this one. It says, Dear Christopher, you have been especially selected to receive a coin from my token... Uh, ooh, token Lord? Sound? Here's hoping it brings you good fortune in your coin hunts. Good luck, your friend Gollum. Oh, token horde. I get it. Let's have a look then. A token from Gollum. Look at that. Peace, fortune, success, health, happiness, and love. 777. Good luck. Fortuna in Obtenium. Hmm. To, to accompany the bearer. Well, there we go. Hopefully then, with this, <laughs> we'll get ourselves some good luck and find some amazing coins and then Gollum can claim all of the, uh, um, all, all, all of the claim for having granted the luck by sending this token. Well, thank you very much, but it's very cool. Next up, we've got this letter. It says, from Mike... Uh, Mikey Cherry, aka Mini Flags on YouTube, two pennies from the year 2000 for your world record attempt. 
4,838 pennies from the year 2000 left until you hit your world record attempt at 51,504 pennies 2000. Wow. So we'll get these off of here and into the pot for safekeeping then. Into the pot they go. Thank you very much for your help as well. Next up is this letter. Oh, it's a Christmas card. Uh, to Christopher, all the best. Love from Purple Fairy. So Purple Fairy is a, a very good friend who I've met uh, on various occasions at the Royal Mint who has her own YouTube channel. I highly recommend you go check out her channel as well. Well, apologies it's taken so long to get to your Christmas card, but uh, thank you very much for sending me a Christmas card indeed. We've got this letter next. It says, hello, our single gold colour, two pound coins from 1986 for the Scottish Commonwealth Games worth keeping. Uh, it's in good condition. Okay, there are lots going round, so I might as well um, spend it some time. Pete. Sorry, there's a phone number at the bottom. I didn't notice that until I'd read to the bottom. Um, so the 1986 single metal two pound coin is one of, I think, seven designs. Uh, with those single metal two pound coins the there is only one that sort of has standout value and that is the claim of rights because there's so few of them made like 300 and something thousand of them so they are quite hard to come across um the others are quite high minted the the 1986 was the first one so um it, ha it has a very high mintage and in terms of a value to a collector they might pay a pound or two over the face value um, but I think it's a cool coin because it's the first modern £2 coin other than, um, oh crumbs, uh, there was one George the Sixth and I think a George the Third pattern £2 uh, pound coin, but uh, not one that actually got made. So I think it's kind of cool, a bit of, cool bit of history because it's the first of the £2 coins that we know and use today, even though they're quite common. But uh, um, yeah, not a huge amount of value, but interesting numismatics for sure. Right, we've got this one next, which is being held together with an elastic band. Hopefully everything is all present and correct as it should be in here. Seasons greetings, oh my goodness, I'm so behind on my post. Wowza. It says, to dear Christopher Collect, best wishes for Christmas in 2024, Andy S. Hope 24 is a bumper coin finding year. Oh my goodness, look at this. So we've got an Irish, um, that's what denomination, that could be five cents from the Eurozone. Um, one mm, Phil from the United Arab Emirates there's one of the memorial Canadian two dollars which has got the black outer ring which I think is very very cool and then is that going to be a 10 cents coin with a little schooner on it let's flip it around oh it's they've got the uh, little bit of color on it too very very cool they are super coins there's a, a bunch of other bits also got some stamps there's some Canadian stamps very very nice um, I like this <laughs> still an awkward kid um, it says a postcard for your next draw a few coins including one I know you already have a Canadian toonie issued to mark the passing of Queen Elizabeth II my family is in Canada got some for me oh, amazing uh, there is also a 10 cent coin that has color on it uh, I know you like colored coins a few stamps and stickers too uh, parachute for Gordon what parachute for garden hmm okay best wishes Andy we'll see if I can find some Star Wars Yodis for next time Star Wars Yodis hmm interesting well there's the stickers monkeys craft brewery Normal is weird. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Brew fearlessly. Um, oh, Parachute for Gordo. Oh, I see. Is that like a band? Parachute for Gordo. Ah, oh, a band. Oh, I get it now. I get it. Parachute for Gordo. Well, I'll have to have a search. Then there's not a band that I've ever heard of, but then again, the kind of music I listen to is a little bit old fashioned. Uh, but uh, <laughs> there we go. Well, thank you very much for these as well. Well then, as ever from me, a massive thank you to everyone who's kindly written into the peer box. I'm almost through my backlog of posts now, so apologies for those who've been waiting a long, long time. I can't believe the Christopher Collects merchandise I got today. It's amazing. <laughs> it's giving me some ideas of things that maybe I need to start doing, but uh, and we'll get around to it at some point. But uh, I'm very, very grateful to everyone that does write in. Uh, it's amazing. And some of these peer box videos are quite fun. We're not quite knowing what's going to jump out of, a, of, a, of an envelope, but uh, it's always heartwarming just for the, even for the people that have taken time out to write a letter. Uh, I know it's not done all that much, but uh, I do. I will, of course, reply to all those of you who have uh, 
uh, left me a, a, a means of replying to you so a big thank you again now as usual there are links in the description of this video across to my coin collecting discord server if you want to come and join that there are also links to my other social media channels uh, the peer box address if you want to write in to me and a link to the britannia coin company's youtube channel that's the company i work for as my day job so please do check them out too all it leads me to do now to do now though is thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed and i'll see you next time for more coins bye